Hello, I'm Dr. David Perlmutter. It has been estimated that in the United States, more than one million people have Parkinson's disease, with more than 50,000 new cases being diagnosed each year. Over the past several decades, medical research has identified several fundamental abnormalities of brain chemistry likely responsible for this affliction. In the late 1950s, the discovery of a deficiency of the brain neurotransmitter dopamine led to the development of L-DOPA therapy, which remains the mainstay of treatment for Parkinson's symptoms. While L-DOPA therapy is clearly effective in treating symptoms in Parkinson's disease, recent medical research has raised concern over its use since it has now been demonstrated that L-DOPA significantly enhances the production of brain-damaging free radicals. It is these free radicals which are responsible for the progressive brain destruction not only in Parkinson's disease, but in all of the neurodegenerative conditions. The concern over free radical production by L-DOPA is compounded by a recent report in the prestigious medical journal, The Lancet, showing that L-DOPA increases the production of homocysteine, an amino acid directly linked to increased risk of stroke and myocardial infarction. In a landmark 1982 study, researchers reported the discovery of another brain chemical deficiency in Parkinson's disease, glutathione. This discovery prompted clinical research to evaluate the effectiveness of glutathione administered intravenously for the treatment of Parkinson's disease. Based upon these results, we began using intravenous glutathione in 1998. The results we have observed using this naturally occurring brain antioxidant have been dramatic. Video of the following three patients is presented with their gracious consent.